Hi, Shanny Fannies. Welcome to Educating Shanny. I'm Shanny and I'm recovering from an eating disorder. Hi, Shanny. Hi. I just woke up from a nap. I had a weird day. It is 10 o'clock p.m. I woke up at like 11 and then I was feeling really sick and I watched a couple of movies and I had to take a pain pill and so I fell back asleep until like an hour ago. And I just went poop and no idea what Danny's doing so we're gonna go find him. I'm gonna try and scare him. If he's in the garage, then we'll be able to scare him. And if he's in his indoor shop, then we won't be able to scare him. So let's go see if we can find him. Okay. No, I try to be quiet. <laughs> you could hear me. Dang it. Nice try, though. Look at my sexy hair. I dude. love it. It's, it's my favorite. Hair. This is my favorite length for him. I was going to do a haircut today. That's what no, I was going to do. It looks perfect the way it is. I love it when it's really long on top like that. Why does my hair look so frizzy in this lighting? I hate this lighting in here. Yeah. Good How are you doing? So. Okay, how are you doing? Mm, I don't feel weird and tired and groggy. I just woke up like an hour ago. Yeah, you've been sleeping all day. It's weird. Yeah. Are you about to go to bed? No. So it's like 10.30. So? I'm a big oh, boy no, it's now. 10. I know you're a big boy, <laughs> but you usually go to bed lately because yeah. you're old. No, I'm a you're big You're an old big boy. No, it's not old. You're kind of old. No, 37 is not old. Stop it. That's almost over the hill, baby. What is the hill? 40. No, not even close. Not these days. Tell, us in the, tell me in the comments below, is 40 not over the hill? It's always been that way. Life expectancy is like 102 now, so technically yeah. the hill is like... 56. No, it's 40. We're going to get you some black balloons. Do not, some old man. You dare. You dare. Old man don't you dare. shoes and no. old man sweaters. I will burn them all. Can get you some. Burn them. Dentures and stuff. Burn them with a flamethrower that I will some, create get you some and of burn them. Cream that you got to wear and the adult diapers that come with it. I, I promise. Cream? What kind of cream? Alt, what is this cream? Like butt cream. Oh. You basically become... Why would I need a butt cream? Because you become a baby again when you're really old. If you wear diapers and butt cream and stuff. You're offending all the old people who have no idea what you're talking about. No, they're like, yep, that's what's going to happen. Jesus Better Christ. prepare for it. Wow. Well. Do you want to see what I was really doing today? Sure. Check I'd love to see. For those besides, of you that don't besides know. all the cleaning. I know, he's so wonderful. <laughs> I forgot to show them that. He cleaned the whole birdcage and the kitchen. Um, for those of you who don't know, hold on. Danny is a... Let me put you on. Danny is a... Um, oh, look at that stature. I just didn't know what... I mean, this Would you like to say it? Danny's a prop designer, builder, handyman, can do anything. Artist extraordinaire. So... Tell us what this is that we're about to see. So, I don't know if you saw in there, but I do costumes too. Like big costumes. I'm sure a lot of you have already seen this. Like Iron Man and Groot and whatever else and stuff like this. Made from foam. Yep. So, recently I've taken on the idea of doing a Predator costume. Mm-hmm. Which is one of my favorite characters, movies, whatever you want to call it. 
Predator has a lot of different moving pieces and parts and animatronics and stuff. So I started this head about a month ago. Mm -hmm. And then I realized I should probably move on to the body and armor and everything that goes along with it. There'll be animatronics that go up in here. So this, this will all shut down and everything will kind of move. Just want mm -hmm. to take the mask off, this will all move around. Anyway, so this is some of the armor and stuff that I've been working on. But I need to make a whole body suit too, because he's muscly and everything, and I am not muscly and everything. Yes, you are. And as good as Predator. So, I've been designing and building and apparently smashing a... Are you making yourself a muscle suit? Yeah. Why don't you so, just buy one on Amazon? Because I need it particular to Predator. Oh. Muscles. You need muscles. Predator muscles. So this is the bottoms. They're not huh. done yet. Okay. But I made some real good progress on the chat on the torso. Check this out. Wow. That's cool, babe. So I already got some some liquid latex on there so that feels like skin basically. Oh weird. Right? It does. Ew. <laughs> That's cool. So it'll move and flex like skin and yeah. I just gotta keep adding some more layers of this stuff so that it all meshes together and everything. And then I'll paint him so they'll look, you know, predator-ish. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. So yeah, there we go. That's awesome, Bye. babe. Bye. You're so talented. Just for fun. You know you're talented. A little bit. Yeah, so well, thanks for sharing. Yep. You're welcome. How much longer are you going to work? I don't know. Let me finish that gauntlet up and then okay. pull it from there. I'm going to finish this and go paint. So. Okay. Sounds good. Good to see you. Too, I love you. How are you doing? Give, it, give them an update. Uh, I'm doing better. Um, did you tell them about yesterday? Because uh, we forgot to make No, one because my video wouldn't upload yesterday. Oh, stupid YouTube. I did make you a video. It just wouldn't upload yeah. for some reason. I went to see, saw a lawyer friend of ours, who is also... My uncle. An uncle. They know that. Okay. Uh, our loyal, our lawyer uncle. And he gave me some advice. He said it, it was going to be a waste of time and money and, and headache to go after the state for the road damage. So he just suggested do the normal stuff and go through insurance and stuff and make sure that I'm covered. And that if anything happens, lawyer or law... He did, he did recommend me go on... And um, contesting the ticket because mm -hmm. I didn't do anything wrong. It was mm -hmm. the road that forced my trailer to freak out. And anyway, mm -hmm. that's, that's, that's what I'll be doing lawyer law ish law. Yeah, because we don't want that on your record no. if it's not your no, fault. It wasn't my fault. Yeah. yeah it's, it's kind of like it was nobody's crap. fault and everybody's fault. It just was one of those things where. It was just an accident. Yeah, an accident. But when it comes to fault and paying tickets and having it, that stuff on records and everything like that. Mm -hmm. It wasn't my fault. Mm -hmm. I did nothing wrong. I had a working trailer, and it was the road damage that they've been doing for freaking ever. Mm -hmm. So, anyway, there we go. No hate, though. All good well, things. I'm really proud of you. I know it was hard for you to do it was that hard. and scary, yeah. but you did really good. I'm really proud of you, and so is everybody else. Thanks. You're very sweet. You're very You're pretty sweet. pretty beautiful, too. I'm not. Mm. Stop. You lie like a fly with a booger in its eye. Or a sty. Because those are pretty big liars. And then, because they'll explode. And then they make you... Love one another. You don't know styes. No, I guess not. <laughs> Hi. So I'm working on these paintings for my nieces and nephews for Christmas. Um, and it's kind of stressing me out, which is stupid. Like, I wish I would have, um, like, I wish I was enjoying this a little bit. But it's like, I asked my brothers and sisters, I said, what is, hold on, I don't want you to see a kitchen. I said, what is, um... What is, um, oh, I can't breathe. What is, what are, is your kids' favorite color or colors? Um, only 
a couple of them have sent it. So I started working on those ones. And so like, for instance, my sister Julie, who lives in Florida, um, has three kids. She gave me her favorite, the favorite colors of the two oldest, the two boys, but not the little girl. I don't know why she didn't do that. But that's okay, I'm just gonna give her a different one. Um, but like, for instance, her, one of her boys loves red, as in Iron Man red, so I'm, I've started this one. I've decided to go with the design that I know best now, that I love. So this is gonna be the Iron Man one. And it's gonna look like that style I've been doing lately, like the ocean one and stuff, but so over here I'm gonna put more gold and then I'm gonna put some sort of rocks or something right there, maybe even some Iron Man symbol. So it's this, it's the same formula where you swipe that way, swipe that way, and then put something in there. Um, and I'm gonna give this to my mom, by the way. So surprise mom, if you're watching this, you're probably not, but if you are surprised, I'm bringing it over today for you. Um, and then, and then the other boy likes blue as in Superman blue. So I did this and I'll probably do like Superman red over here and then yellow in the middle. I don't know, something, something like that is the plan. But um, I had tried to do just their paintings, just those colors by themselves and it just looks stupid. Like it was so boring, it was just one color. So that's why I decided to switch to that technique. And I feel like I'm just gonna do that technique for each niece and nephew. Um, because it's my favorite one to do. It's the one that I'm the best at currently. And then, you know, maybe next year I can do a different technique or something. Because this, this year it's been stressful for me to figure out, okay, which technique would look best with which color. And then I'm like, why don't you just do the one that you know the best and just switch it for whichever colors. Unless, by the way, I already have some made that happen to match what someone would want. If I already have one made that would that they would like, then I'll give that to them. But most of them, um, I'm gonna be doing like that. So I'll show you guys tomorrow when I finish them because I'm gonna go finish them right now. And I'll show you tomorrow what they look like. Tomorrow, I go to my mom's house and for dinner. Um, and um, uh, why can't I talk all of a sudden? Oh my gosh, Vlogmas starts tomorrow. I'm starting Vlogmas tomorrow. I know that I haven't uploaded my last episode of Decluttering Shanny. Um, it's really scary for me to do that one for some reason. I tried editing it yesterday and I got sick. Like I literally got sick looking at it. It was so gross. It was so disgusting. Um, I was editing the part where I showed like my toilet and my bathroom area where I go to the bathroom and, and my toilet area and seeing like the puke stains all over the toilet and all over the walls. Like it made me actually gag and it made me feel really um, like not good. And I just don't know if I'm strong enough to post it right now. I don't know if I'm strong enough to hear even one comment of like, oh my gosh, she is disgusting. Cause like I already feel really disgusting lately. I'm trying to get my positivity back, but it's been really rough and I've been feeling really gross and sick every day. And so I just, I just don't know if I can do it right now. So I'm gonna wait till I'm a little bit stronger. I'm gonna focus on Vlogmas now because I need it. I need to do have something to focus, focus on during the day instead of being like, well, you can't start Vlogmas today because you haven't put up decluttering Shani. Okay, well then I just will wait till I do that. But when am I actually gonna do that? So. I've decided to start Vlogmas tomorrow. Um, so we're gonna go see my mom. I guess you actually won't see it though until Monday. So tomorrow I'll do another direct upload like this and then Monday, I guess, for you is when Vlogmas will start. So I'm excited for that. It's gonna be fun and um, I'm gonna use whatever music I want. I don't care if I get copyright, to be honest. Um, and I'm just gonna make it really fun and pretty. Like, I don't get monetized anyway, so what's the point? Um, speaking of monetization and money and painting, Paul is going to be selling my paintings on eBay really soon. As soon as I send him a damn picture of one of them, he'll get it started. 
I just haven't decided which one I want to sell yet. And once I do that, I'll send him a picture. He'll put it on Amazon. You guys can bid for it and highest, highest bid gets it. So get ready for that. I don't know when that will be, probably sometime this week. Um, and there are a few that I have in mind that I'll be selling and see how they do. And if they do well, then we'll keep selling more. And if you do end up getting it and bidding and winning the painting, I will sign the back. I'll leave a long note for you and I'll sign the back. And um, yeah, so it's going to be fun, I think. And Paul's really sweet to help me with this. Um, and this is kind of I guess my way of trying to make some money on YouTube when I can't make money on YouTube anymore. So it's not that I ever could. I mean, I made $9 last month, so sweet. That's awesome. So anyway, um, yeah, I just need this. I need to get excited again. I need to, oh, I just need to blah, do something, you know, because I am in a rut and I don't like it anymore. So I'm going to do it. Okay, my kidneys hurt. I'm going to go and finish those paintings, and I'll see you guys tomorrow for probably a direct upload. Maybe even we'll go live. Who knows? But I'll probably be at my mom's house, whatever we do. So I love you guys, and I'll see you tomorrow. And remember forever and always that you're beautiful, you're worth it, and I am too. Thank you for watching. Bye.